Kelly Loomis, Registered Dietitian and Certified Diabetes Educator. Welcome to Meals in Minutes. Today we're going to be making breakfast, a great meal that we all need to start our day with. And we're going to try something a little bit different than your traditional oatmeal. It's going to be a great harvest baked oatmeal and I really hope you enjoy it. You've probably heard a million times that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And I'm not going to change that at all. Breakfast is one of the most important meals. But a lot of times, because we're trying to grab something quick, we grab something that's maybe not so healthy. So today we're going to do a recipe that a friend had given me and I decided needed a little bit of help to make it a little more nutritious. This harvest baked oatmeal is super easy. You can put it together in a few minutes, throw it in the oven, and by the time you're done with your shower in the morning, you have a breakfast that not only is healthy, but also tastes like the perfect fall dessert. It starts with something really simple. Two cups of old-fashioned oatmeal, the kind you get in the canister, and you just throw it in the bowl. And this part you can do the night before, maybe if you're having guests for Thanksgiving Day. Then you add an apple chopped up. Just chop it up rough, however you, you wanna do it. Big pieces, little pieces. And what we're doing to that oatmeal that's already high in fiber is adding more fiber. The apples are also really high in antioxidants that are shown to prevent certain types of cancer like lung cancer. So we're making it even more healthy as we go. And it's never a bad idea to add more fruits or more vegetables to the items that you're making. So then there's a few extra things that we need to add. The first thing is we're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to remind you that it's baking powder and not baking soda. Um, I've seen people make that mistake before. To give it a little bit of fun flavor, we're gonna add a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you don't really like pumpkin pie spice, feel free to substitute cinnamon. I like lots, so sometimes I'll even put some extra. The next thing we're gonna add to the oatmeal mixture is just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. The original recipe that I had actually had a whole teaspoon of salt, but I've played with it enough to see that just a quarter of a teaspoon is enough to make this recipe work perfectly. The last dry ingredient that we're gonna add is brown sugar, only a third of a cup. A lot of baked oatmeal recipes have up to a cup and a half of brown sugar. So we're really trying to cut back on those extra calories and added sugars. You can leave it out, you can use honey in its place, or you can even use a brown sugar Splenda if you'd like to. But I like to stick with this one third of a cup of regular brown sugar. And then we just mix those dry ingredients up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our wet ingredients. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more delicious and a little bit more fun than your traditional oatmeal in the morning. We're gonna start with one cup or about a half of a can of canned pumpkin. If you really wanted, you could cook down a pumpkin and get that same cup, but I think using the canned is a little bit easier, especially for the breakfast option. By adding pumpkin, we're adding lots more fiber and vitamin A, and those are two great things that we wanna add into our diet on a regular basis. So we're gonna start with the pumpkin, and then the next thing we're gonna add is just one and a half cups of milk. I use skim milk because I want to keep the fat and calories lower, but if you want to use another type, you know, that's perfectly up to you as long as it fits in with your dietary goals. To add a little bit more flavor, we're also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The last thing that we're going to add to that wet ingredient bowl is a, an egg. Just one large egg and you want to beat it before you put it in the bowl just to make sure that um, you don't get any shells in it or there's no blood in the egg um, before you add it into your mixture. Once you add the egg, it's pretty simple. We just stir it together. Make sure the pumpkin gets mixed through. And then the next thing we're gonna do is simply add the two together. 
pour your wet ingredients straight into that dry ingredients bowl. And if you've made it the night before, you may have had a lid on it. Just take the lid off, mix the two together, and we're almost ready to stick it in the oven. You wanna make sure this mixture is mixed very well. And then you wanna make sure that you have a nine by nine pan that you spray with any type of cooking spray. Make sure it's sprayed well so that our oatmeal doesn't stick. And then you're just gonna pour your oatmeal mixture into that nine by nine pan. The last thing we're gonna do, and this is optional, but it is what makes this breakfast for me, is we're gonna add some chopped walnuts. This is a way to add both some protein and some of those healthy omega-3 fatty acids to this oatmeal. Now you can add it anywhere, usually between a half of a cup and a cup, depending on your fat and calorie goals. The more you add, the more calories you're gonna have. So you just throw those on top. You can chop them up as fine or as coarse as you would like them. And we're ready to stick it in the oven. So all we need to do now is put this in the oven for 20 minutes and you have a delicious and healthy breakfast. With just a few short minutes of prep time and 20 minutes in the oven, you can have this great, healthy breakfast. High in antioxidants, high in fiber, and even including some of those healthy omega-3 fatty acids from the walnuts. It's a great option that you can make on Monday and reheat throughout the week. You can add a little cinnamon to the top, a little milk to the top if you'd like, or you can even double the recipe, put it in a 9 by 13 pan, and make it for your guests on Thanksgiving Day. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do, and I look forward to seeing you on the next Meals in Minutes.